Welcome back. Well, if you're thinking of buying a camera this Christmas, now is the time to buy it. With more competition from people using mobile phones for those quick snaps, prices for traditional cameras are lower than ever before. Tonight, Josh Fazulin has the ratings guide to the newest and best cameras on the market. thousand photos per holiday with one charge is unheard of. Now we can take photos and our videos in 3D just with this camera. High speed, get that perfect shot every time. Now's a great time to buy. High speed, high definition, high tech. Compact cameras like we've never seen. Tonight, which cameras will give you the best shots for the least amount of coin? Well, the main thing's a megapixel and a zoom size. Uh, also, the physical size of the camera is most important as well. Bruce Bowman from Ted's Cameras says compared to last Christmas, point and shoots have become cheaper, smaller and smarter. The Panasonic TZ10 has a, a very good size for travel. Uh, you can put it in your handbag or your, your pocket. Uh, the zoom size is still very large, which makes the camera versatile at the same time. While some cost under $100, Bruce says you'll need to spend at least $200 to snap up a quality camera. His pick for the Christmas stocking, Canon's Exus 105 IS. For the average punter that doesn't know too much about photography, I think the $200 price point uh, is a good way to go. But if new technology is your focus, check out this handheld from Fuji, the first 3D compact to hit our shores. It actually shows you pictures in the background and actually brings things into the foreground as well, which is brilliant. Chris Matthews from Clive Peters says you will, however, pay a premium for cutting edge technology. Personally, I love 3D. I reckon it is the way things are heading. I give it two thumbs up. If it's panoramic shots you're after, this new gadget in Sony's CyberShot can do a view like this in a flash. 180 degrees, landscapes, landmarks, easily done. Pictures of you, pictures of me. The sweet panorama function merges up to 60 photos in one shot to produce something like this. Take it anywhere and everywhere, that ruggedness that you can, you know, throw around. Just in time for the spending season, Casio has released its new award-winning Exilum range. In the wear and tear category, the G1's the pick. Take it down the beach, don't worry about dropping it in the water. Always run out of battery, not with the H15 model. One charge over a thousand photos per battery charge. Paul Beaton is Casio's national marketing manager. The GPS camera is, is great for travelling with um, 10,000 points of interest and landmarks already preloaded onto the camera. The hybrid GPS, um, having motion sensors, mapping and GPS uh, is a world first. Price matters in, in every category we do, but then there are things like image quality, functionality. CanStar Blue surveys which cameras Australian consumers rate the best. Head of research, Steve Mickenbecker. In the compact, uh, we, we actually couldn't split two providers. From seven of our most popular brands, Canon and Panasonic was awarded five stars. Image quality, they were the same. Price, they were the same. Uh, there were a couple of small differences in functionality and design, but, but essentially we looked at the results and said, it's splitting hairs. In the digital SLR stakes, Nikon came out on top. Five stars in every category. You still have to choose the camera that suits you because this is at brand level, uh, but it's a great place to start.